Welcome to the lecture of plant molecular biology on somaclonal variation. Somaclonal variation is the term used to describe the variation seen in plants that have been produced by plant tissue culture or regenerated from cultured somatic cells. Plant tissue cultures isolated from single explant can show variation after repeated subculture. In broader sense, somaclonal variation also encompasses the changes observed at the level of cell cultures that have been utilized to select cell lines tolerant to extreme environmental stresses, resistant to diseases, or for higher productivity of industrial phytochemicals. For distinction, the variation observed in the cultures of gametic cells is called gametoclonal variation, and the specific terms used to describe somaclones include caliclones and protoclones, referring to the somaclones obtained from callus and protoplast cultures, respectively. The occurrence of somaclonal variation is both a boon and a ban. When the objective is clonal multiplication of variable through to type elite clones, this variation can result in unwanted off types that reduces the commercial value of the propagules. Similarly, genetically engineered plants are carefully screened to avoid unwanted and unintended somaclonal variation so that the commercially released clones have only beneficial effects from the transgene. On the other hand, the somaclonal variation may yield desirable genotypes as novel cell lines or plants of agronomic and commercial advantages. Somaclonal variations can be genotypic or phenotypic, which in the latter case can be either genetic or epigenetic in origin. Typical genetic alterations are changes in chromosome numbers, which include polyploidy and aneuploidy, chromosome structure caused by translocations, deletions, insertions, and duplications, and DNA sequence resulted from base mutations. A typical epigenetics-related event would be gene methylation. One of the more frequently encountered types of somaclonal variation results from changes in chromosome number, that is aneuploidy, polyploidy, or mixoploidy. Changes in ploidy originate from abnormalities that occur during mitosis. For example, extra chromosomal duplication during interface, spindle fusion, or lack of spindle formation, and cytoplasmic division. As plant cells grow in age, the frequency of changes in ploidy increases. Therefore, changes in ploidy observed in cultures and regenerated plants might have their origins in the source of tissue explants used. Another cause of variability due to changes in ploidy is the in vitro culture regime itself. The longer cells remain in culture, the greater is their chromosomal instability. In addition, the composition of the growth medium can trigger changes in ploidy. For example, both kinetin and 2,4-D are implicated in ploidy changes and cultures grown under nutrient limitations can develop abnormalities. Selecting a suitable explant and an appropriate culture medium can therefore enhance the chromosomal stability of the culture. However, High variations of ploidy in cultures do not always lead to high frequencies of somaclonal variation in regenerated plants. This is because in mixed cultures, diploid cells appear to be better fitted than aneuploid or polyploid cells for regeneration as they are more likely to form meristems. Structural changes in nuclear DNA appear to be a major cause of somaclonal variation. The changes can modify large region of a chromosome and so may affect one or several genes at a time. These modifications include the following gross structural rearrangements, deletion, loss of genes, inversions, alteration in gene order, duplications, 
duplication of genes and translocations, segments of chromosomes moving to new locations. Activation of transposons can also be a cause of somacrona variation. Transposons or transposable elements are mobile segments of DNA that can insert into coding regions and cause gene disruption. In addition to these larger modifications of nuclear DNA sequence, changes at the level of a single DNA nucleotide that occur in a coding region can lead to somacrona variation. For example, point mutations that result from a change of base in a single nucleotide or the author methylations of a base can lead to gene inactivation. Epigenetic changes that cause somacrona variation can be temporary or transient and over time are reversible. However, sometimes they can persist through the life of the regenerated plant. Epigenetic changes may be caused by DNA methylation, DNA amplification, or by activation of transposable elements or transposons. DNA methylation is important for both transcription and translation because it alters the substrate affinities of enzymes that are active in these processes. Tissue culture media can change the level of DNA methylation and thus may be one of the important causes of somacrona variation. One common phenotypic change seen in plants produced through tissue culture is rejuvenation. Rejuvenation causes changes in morphology such as earlier flowering or enhanced adventitious root formations.